they're not just joking when they say your personal statement will be assessed for all these things. Hi everyone, welcome back to the most comprehensive PhD application series and we're currently doing the most comprehensive personal statement series. So it's a whole playlist, do check it all out. And in this particular video, we're gonna talk about how you sit down before you start a personal statement, what you need to do, what you need to brainstorm, and just to have a really good idea of what is going into your personal statement. And I have some general tips about personal statements. So it's a very important intro video. So let's get right into it. When you're applying, you must, you should definitely go to the departmental website, the course website. And for every course at Oxford, they have this little page which tells you, you know, about the degree, the entry requirements, resources, funding costs, um, college preference. And then here in the how to apply section, they have exactly what you need. Um, and so for my course, the DPhil in Oncology, I needed a personal statement. These, you know, are not just a starting point. This is what you should keep in mind. Um, and they're not just joking when they say your personal statement will be assessed for all these things. So your reasons for applying, well, let's try and keep these in mind as many as you can. And then as we're going through my personal statement, we'll try and see if I actually checked all of these. So reasons for applying, evidence of motivation for and understanding of the proposed area of study, commitment to the subject, preliminary knowledge of research techniques, capacity for sustained and intense work and reasonable uh, reasoning ability. And then uh, the final line here, it says that the personal statement should focus on your personal research experience in this field rather than personal achievements and interests. And so this is gonna be different for different PhDs and different universities will ask for different things. So for each university and everything you're applying to, please go and use this. So some general tips. Um, you need to address a few key things in your personal statement. You know, you need to convey because a lot of this is your first, this is your application. This is what they see. This is how they select whether they want to call you for an interview. So they will look at obviously your, the rest of your application, which has your grades and your background, you know, what undergraduate degree or master's that you've done. Um, any other sort of research experience, but this personal statement is just absolutely essential to tell them who you are. And so, you know, really needs a lot of work and thought. So questions to address, why am I interested in doing a PhD and career goals? They want to know that. Why am I interested in this project? What experience do I already have of research? Why am I interested in this particular lab? Uh, you know, this is also very important um, when you're first contacting a supervisor before you're applying to the PhD and maybe you just want to arrange a meeting with them. These questions um, are also good guideline of what you can mention in your email. Um, what if I got to offer, um, you know, as in your experience, what you bring and why should you even respond to me? Because academics are very busy. If you send them a just a generic email that you forwarded to 20 other labs, they can very easily see that. And oftentimes it's happened that multiple people in the same department have received the same exact email and they share it around for laughs. You know, like this candidate is actually just bulk sending emails to all of us, but isn't really interested or putting in the effort. So use these guidelines. And then in terms of how to get started, what I always used to do is a massive sort of brainstorm. Uh, I prefer to call them brain dumps of, you know, my research experience, what skills I have, um, every small little thing that I've done, every, you know, volunteering, everything I've been involved in at, uni at university, I will just like write these things down and what skills I might have gained from all of these that are actually going to be relevant for the PhD. Then, you know, just think about your achievements, just small things, you know, competitions or whatever you've, you've been involved in. Just make sure you have that in front of you. Um, so then you can pick out the most relevant and um, important ones. And then, you know, all my research interests, this was also quite hard to nail down for me because I was interested in lots of different fields as, as well. And so I, you need to have sort of clarity as much as possible um, about everything, you know, all of these different aspects to really give it a lot of thought and a lot of brainstorming. Um, 
in terms of when you're actually writing the personal statement, you have limited um, a number of words. So uh, this one was like a maximum of a thousand words. And I wanted to make sure that every single line conveyed something new and something important, something that, you know, tells them about me rather than just a generic line, you know, no, no line in my personal statement um, was irrelevant or, you know, I felt like every line had to make the statement better and better and better. If one line doesn't do that, then I just cut it out because you, you need to be very focused. Nothing useless on there. Um, so potential skills, you know, obviously think about um, what a PhD is, um, talk to people, um, and then these things always come out, you know, independent thinking, critical thinking, creativity, problem solving, persistence, these kinds of things. So you have to pick out not just any skill like, oh, I'm great at, you know, cooking, but it has to be very relevant to the PhD. So put those skills in. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we explore how you actually start a personal statement and what to mention in your first paragraph to really set the scene for the rest of your personal statement. If you found the video useful, do give it a thumbs up and do leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Subscribe for more McPage, which by now you should know is the most comprehensive PhD application guide ever. <laughs> All right, see you in another video. Bye.